Hello and welcome to the demo on our new user interface. Today, I am going to be talking to you about the quick search feature. Um, as you can see from the top in our test server, um, we have a search bar. When I click on this search bar, I can start to type in a name or some letters. Um, and it's going to start to pull up anything in the database that involves those le letters. So it's searching students, it's searching staff, and it's also searching um, pages. So as you can see, when I start typing MUL, it's first pulling students. And this could be in the first name, in the last name, in the middle name, in the legal name. It's looking through all of those to pull the students with MUL. Then you can see it's looking through the staff and it also pulls the contacts. So here's the first name and it pulled MUL. And then the really cool thing is it also pulls the pages. So cumulative info as the MUL, traditional grade calculation formulas. Um, so you can just start typing and it's gonna bring you anything with that inside of the database. for that name. You can do the same thing with numbers. If you know where the startup, it can search for state numbers. It can search for um, student number just by typing one, two, three. Um, it's gonna bring up those students, staff. This also tells you, I am at the district office, so this does tell you which school um, these students are in as you're trying to pull by a student number or a number or a name. So it has that feature as well. And then by clicking on the one that you want, it'll bring you to the student pages. Okay, so that's a quick search, so you can just type in what you're starting to look for, and it's going to bring up your different options. Um, one thing to remember, if you go under your initials here or picture, whatever you have in your top right-hand corner under Manage Profile, this is where you can set those options for your quick search option display. Um, so if you want to add, so here's students, staff, contacts, page, and then search by student number. You can also add the search and display by state number. So it can pull the state numbers as well. And now when you type in that search bar um, and you add those numbers that it's going to look at um, as a state student number as well. So you can set that up, what you want it to search by and what you would not like it to search by under, um, again, under your Manage Profile. Okay, so then the next thing that, um, how we can, tr can control the quick search um, is now under what used to be the miscellaneous page under the district office. Um, now that now has new breadcrumbs or a new way to get to that, um, but there is set up under that page as well. So just from the main, so PowerSchool again gets you to your main if you want to use that. Otherwise, you can just come over here and you can do, um, I'm in the district office, so I'm just going to do district management and setup. And now this additional system preferences is what that old miscellaneous page is. Um, because these are additional preferences, they have just renamed this page. So as you scroll down to the bottom, here is that quick search configuration. So when you, you can en enable that, and here is also how you can control those page results um, on the quick search. So here's your student, your staff, my contacts, and then the page results. So I have all of them marked so that when I use my quick search, it's gonna search by all of those features. So just double check that page just to make sure. Um, so if you're not pulling or if you're trying to pull a number and it's not pulling, 
the setup could be here as well, as well as under your profile page. Um, okay, so another cool thing with the quick search, I am just gonna pull up a kiddo again. Just take this first kid. So let's say I'm working with this student and I get a phone call. So I'm going to go into the school. I'm just going to pick my Apple Grove school. And let's say I'm working with my 12th graders. And someone calls in and they need to know where someone is, some information on someone else that you are not working with. Before in Power School, once you went and searched another kiddo, you lost your current search information. Now, if I want to do this, and I have my seniors that I'm working with, but someone called in about Daniel, when I click on Daniel, I can look at his the information for him, get what they need, and I can go back, and my student search is still here. So here's all of my 211 kiddos. I do quick search, pull up Brandon because he's one of them and see how my search, my quick search is still here and it opens in a new tab if I'm just looking for a specific kiddo. Um, so I can look up any information under this student without losing what I have selected that I'm working with this group of students. Um, so that is, that is a great feature because I know we all don't wanna get out of what we're in because we lose that search, but this will just give you a new tab. And then when you're done working with Brandon, then you can just close out of that tab and you can go back to working with your selection of students. So that's just a brief overview of the quick search and the um, different ways that we can use the quick search um, and how it's going to be very valuable. Um, in this new user interface.